This is code.org, and this is getting started. All right, import painter plus Java from the backpack. Cool, if you don't have this, guys, I have it here, check and import. You're gonna need to commit it at some point, but you, if you don't have it, hit new file, write painter plus, and you can copy the code from this link. I have it, we're good to go. All right, so here's what we're doing. Write the method signature for move or take paint method. I'm gonna put that down right now, All right? So down here, now, method signature, we know what we a signature is at this point. Uh, well, a signature you might think is me signing my name, right? When you sign your name, that's a signature. Method signature, you also need the method's name. So what else do we need? We can look at what we already have here, right? So public void, that's the access, and this is what it, the return type. Really, we can just use that as a reference for now. We don't need to dive into the details. So public void, move or take paint make sure you do the camel case which is what we call this when the first letter is lowercase but um or the first word's lowercase but the start of each other word is uppercase and then curly bracket bam all right here's my method signature ready to rock inside your move or take paint method use your pseudo code from the selection statements so uh students you've likely had this distributed to you Maybe hard copy, we might have done it online. Uh, if you have not, though, keep in mind, you do want to walk through these steps. This is great for understanding logically how to plan out a method. And pseudocode is done at all of the big companies. It's done in adult world for real. Maybe at Google or Microsoft, you would pass around some ideas for an application and other people would look at your pseudocode and make suggestions. So super helpful stuff right here. I like to test things as I'm doing them, especially during a demonstration like this. So that's exactly how I will handle this. So what we need here is, all right, inside your move or take paint method. Yeah, we saw this. All right, write the Java code for the painter plus object to move forward. This is what we need to do. Move forward if it is not on a paint bucket, right? So if we are not on a paint bucket, I'm gonna just take notes as comments. Move forward if not on paint bucket while it can't while painter can move okay now otherwise huh otherwise if you see otherwise guys you really want to start thinking else so otherwise take all the paint okay so i'm gonna break this up so we want to finagle this a bit, right? And we're going to want to break this up. All right, so let's be thinking about this. Look at the words they use. We have an if, we have a not, we have a wall, and then we have an otherwise. So I want to check out this first sentence. Uh, well, I guess it's a random, but anyways. Uh, to write the Java code for painter plus object to, right here, move forward if not on a paint bucket while it can move. So as long as it can move, if I'm not on a paint bucket, move forward, right? I'm just going to kind of move this around because I know wall is a repeat. So if I want to think, actually, uh, if I want to kind of think in terms of a pseudocode type thing, like I'm explaining it, maybe someone a bit younger than me, a few years or even grade below me, you want to use simple language, but you want it to be wor your words. So let's see, something like a wall painter. can move right because think how they separated this out painter plus object to move if not on bucket wall so we should be moving if we're not on the bucket as long as we can move so while the painter can move if painter is not on bucket move forward all right, so that's the first chunk of logic here. Now, otherwise, when you see otherwise, right, you always want to think of else. So else, otherwise, okay, so if painter is not on bucket, what do we do? Move forward. Otherwise, right, because an else must go with it, our, our if statement. So else, what do we do? Well, then we're on top of that bucket, so we want to do take all the paint. 
which we have a method for now, or we should. All right, so this you could say is my pseudo pseudocode, right? Now, pseudocode should always be in your words and all of that, but that's the general idea that you mapped out on your document. So let's have at this. I'm in this class right now. I'm in my neighborhood because I want to test it live. So let's go. Uh, we already instantiated the painter plus object. So, whoa, my. And that's the nice thing, guys, about pseudocode and planning it out. You can kind of just hammer it in afterwards. Painter plus. And then can move, right? And we have access to this method we know. We've used it before. It's part of the painter class. And we have access to everything the painter class can do because we're extending painter. So every method the painter class can do, the painter plus object can do. So the painter plus object can also check can move. So if my painter plus can move, the computer must respond true or false. Right? We're asking the computer a question here. And hey, computer. Can my painter plus move? Can wherever I am right now, can I move? If this is true, right? If there's nothing in my way, that would be true. And the painter can move. So as long if that is true, it has to run this code inside of it, right? Well, what do we do inside? Right away, I'm going to ask another question. Let's see. If my painter plus dot is on bucket, is that the name of the thing? I think so. Right. If my painter plus is on bucket, same deal here, guys, is on bucket is a method from the painter class. Right. We've seen this before. Here's the painter class is on bucket is a method. Look what it returns a Boolean, a true false. So if my painter plus is on bucket, what did we say we want to do if on bucket? Oh, wait a minute. What up? if on bucket? But what do I want to check? Not. So this, I'm asking if we are on the bucket, I can now do boom, right? Because that means not. Now, if we are not on the bucket, what do we want? As long as we're not on the bucket, we want to, and there's, we want to move, right? As long as we're not on the bucket, because remember before this would be a Boolean. Again, we're asking the computer a little question here, guys. Hey, hey, computer, can the my painter plus, are they on the bucket? And the computer can only tell me true or false. If this is true, right, it would have to run this code inside. We don't want that, though. We don't want to know if we are on the bucket. We want to know not. And the way you do that in code is this explanation point. Now we're asking the computer, hey, computer, are we not on the bucket? Because if we're not on the bucket, we want to move. So great, the computer will say, yep, you're on the bucket. So, or you're not on a bucket. So this part of it would actually be false because we're asking it here if we're not we're, if we're on a bucket and the computer says false. However, since we're saying wait not, so it's true, right? We're now saying that we're not on a bucket with this whole thing. If that results in a true, then we will move forward, which is what we want. Else or otherwise, right? Where'd they say that? Otherwise, what do we want to do? So if we are on a bucket, if statements, this code can only ever run if this chunk is true. If this is true, this has to run. Anything in my else could never run. But what you got to understand is if this is false, say this results in a false answer, we're right now saying, hey, computer, is the painter not on a bucket? Well, if we are on a bucket, this would be false, and we would have to run this stuff in our else statement. What do we do in else? We want to take all the paint. Well, for that, let's go look over here. Remember guys, in a previous level, we should have made this method, take all paint. And look, there's another loop, there's a wall loop in here, which is cool, we can use it. We don't have to think about all the logic for this. We can just throw down my painter plus dot take all paint. And as long as you have your painter plus uh, class updated, you will have this method and that should be good to go. All right, so this is it planned out. Let's see what breaks. And we should stop. That's looking pretty good to me. Now, I need to move all this over, right? I have to, it actually has to be here. I just wrote it here because I like testing things. So I am going to do a, actually, maybe I'll just cut all of this out of here. Cut, and we're headed over to the Painter Plus. I wrote this method signature at the beginning, right? And so for now, I'm just going to slap this all here. 
Um, I can get rid of my pseudocode. And then I need to get rid of this my painter plus, right? The object is over here where we instantiate it. We don't need this object in this dot notation because we're inside the class. We can run these methods. We extend painter. We can run all of this without this object thing. I still need the negation, the explanation point. All right, this is all looking good, I think. So now all of that should run the exact same, except now I should be able to do. Oh, wait, what's move or take? Boom, boom, boom. Let's give it a shot. Cool, cool. All right, something I want to point out, guys, code can function. There's more than cor one correct answer a lot of the time, especially with programming. If I get rid of the negation operator, it's not entirely what they said, but it would function the same. Now I'm saying, hey, if we are on the bucket, well, what do we want to do if we are on the bucket? If we are on the bucket, they said move forward if if we are not on a paint bucket. Okay, so if we're not on a paint bucket, we want to move forward. That means otherwise, if we are, we want to take all the paint. Well, if I get rid of the negation, if I get rid of the not, the explanation point, and flip these, you see what I did there? I got rid of the not. Uh-huh. Right, get rid of that, and then I said, you up here? Because now I'm asking, hey, are you on the bucket? If the painter is on the bucket, take the paint, otherwise move. This would function identically. And so code can be a little different and be correct. That all being said, I'm going to flip mine back to how it was, and let's give it a shot. Ba-ba-da-da! -da -da. Anyway. Cool. Onward.